All right, so what is going on today, you guys? I got a Battles of Legend Relentless Revenge opening for you guys. This was supposed to go up on Thursday, but my brother got back late. Um, and he, you know, he, he had bought himself a couple of boxes and he said, hey man, you can open up one for your channel. So, yeah, man, we got uh, one to open today. Um, but yeah, like I said, this was supposed to go up on Thursday. Give you guys a little surprise and stuff like that. But uh, he did get back rather late, around like 10 o'clock. And yeah, it was just, I, I couldn't record and, you know, process the video and all that. Because like I told you guys, the desktop is not working, so I have to use the laptop and it takes quite a bit to uh <laughs> get it on the laptop but um besides all that we have this uh today and then uh, on saturday should be another dual video i don't know what i'm gonna play yet um i don't know about vampires but hey you guys leave your suggestions down below and we'll get to that um so yeah without further ado we're gonna get get and get started in this uh go ahead and get started opening this box um <clears throat> the only thing really we're looking for is <laughs> the ocean unit zombies because we don't care about half the other things but uh, yeah, the Ultra Unit Zombie, I, I didn't talk about it, I was supposed to talk about it, but the day um, I was going to talk about it, m my car pretty much blew a head gasket, so I, I was a little down in the dumps. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, <laughs> a side note to why I didn't talk about the Ultra Unit Zombie. Am, am, I, am I excited? Absolutely. fucking lutely finally, after 15 years, we get an Ultra Unit Zombie uh, or, or any type of hollow print of a Unit Zombie. Man, it, it feels like ages. I rather would have been a, a super in OTS packs, but who am I to judge? We finally got one. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this. And as always, if you guys do enjoy this video or you want to see more videos like this, let me know. I could, you know, try to get more boxes. Um, I don't know about this because they're selling these for about 70 right now. Um, and that's just not like, this box is not worth 70. So uh, once they die down, I definitely will be getting more, so, or trying to get one, <laughs> or one or two at least, I don't know, we'll see, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started, um, hopefully you guys can see that, we start off with a Supreme Dragon Dark Worm, so that could already tell you we're opening these packs wrong, um, we got a Supreme Dragon Dark Worm, Cyber Italian, Medion the Time Lord, Nastian, and a Trickstar card that makes no type of sense, alright, so they're giving us secrets in the front all right so that's that's not good let me see if i can zoom in a little bit let me see oh that's the wrong way there we go we can zoom in a little bit you guys will be able to see the card so what we're going to be doing is opening from the back so let's see here we have a dark lord contract a tg wonder magician and to be honest with you this is a strange reprint as of right now we don't have needle fiber so why would you reprint this unless konami is hitting at something then um you know uh we have uh what is this one Haleon the time lord is this one already been out jesus christ um these be on the lookout for those a baguska reprint and a living fossil that is the premature burial that um <clears throat> yeah i forgot this card came out but yeah that is the premature burial that uh basically it's basically premature burial but it's only for level four or lower uh, a lot of people are saying we should play that in zombies. I'm not sure since it banishes. Uh, let me see if we can just like, well, we got to go a little, little out. There we go. We can go a little up. That's a little too out. Huh? Uh, there we go. All right. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the new uh, premature bro. Everybody's been talking about it since it got released. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We can test it out. World Legacy's Heart, Cyber Dragon. Definitely got to put those on the side deck. Um, Iron Cage. I don't know. What does this even do? I was for the Golden Castle stuff. We're not really worried about that. Uh, Summon Dice and Trickstar Reincarnation. That's actually a good pull. I believe they're going for 10 right now. So, you know, we can absolutely get something uh, for that. Well, not me, but my brother can. I don't know if he's going to be playing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Michion, this is the one that... Uh, half your opponent life points, right? Yeah. All right, so this one's... Uh, it's pretty good. Like I said, check out for these because uh, when you're going in the time, hitting somebody with that, and as always, somebody revs their engine as soon as I start recording. But, <laughs> you know, as you're going into time, you can definitely side those cards in or side Time Lords in and uh, pretty much uh, beat your opponent because they can't probably do half life points. And, uh, yeah, we drawn print. I mean, we got Princesses and Solemn Judgment. And I don't know if a lot of people have. I've known, but they updated the text on Solemn Judgment. It now reads when a monsters would be summoned. So let's see if you guys can 
Can you, can you, can you see that? Oh, the glare. The glare, God damn it. Oh, wait, there you go. You can read it. But yeah, so that's a big change that not a lot of people are talking about. Um, because before, uh, Solid Dungeon could not negate Pendulum Summons, but now it can because it does save monsters. So definitely be on the lookout for that because uh, that's actually pretty good. All right, so don't know. I think believe that's the golden, the pumpkin carriage cards. Uh, Trick Clown, very nice reprint. Pre-preparation of rice. We're gonna have to stand in the side. Don't say nothing, folks. Um, uh, <laughs> and a brilliant fusion to uh, whoa, whoa, we're going a little too far off. We end off with a beer infusion, but you're definitely going to be taking these pre preps to the side. Um, when he sees this video, he'll, he'll figure it out. But uh, as far as we know, it's between me and you, um, me and you guys, so don't you know, don't say nothing in the comments and stuff like that. Uh, all right, so there we go, Dark Lord Enchantment Kaiju Waterfront. I know he wants this, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that one to the side. Uh, Oh, the Elemental Lord, and Baguska again, and a Orgorth, the Relentless, which, I mean, I guess, nobody wanted that card, but, yeah, man, this set started off pretty good, started off really, really good with the leaks, uh, not even the leaks, I believe Konami, uh, could let it be no worse in the set, um, but besides that, I mean, it, it, it ended off very badly, now, like I've been telling people, is this really, like, somebody running the ball all the way to the end? And fumbling before you got to the end zone and it's absolutely terrible um, the Neo spacing support I used to play Neo spacing way back in the day convert contact I used to play that with glow moss and dark panther and we, it was a chaos deck it was very fun because this is pretty much a draw too um, we probably might uh, go back with that and see what we can do with that um, also guys hex here we could probably rip that card in half but once again this is not my box so we're not going to be doing that. Another Solemn Judgment and a... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and as frankly, as far as I know, we should not be caring about that. I believe those are all... What is that? Hibernation Dragon? I believe those are all the Pumpkin Carriage cards. Um, this is kind of hard to do. Um, oh, the Five Star things came out. Another Convert Contact. Foolish Burial of Goods. What? Oh, wait. Wow. My bad. Uh, another Foolish Burial of Goods for absolutely no reason. Um, this card is actually pretty good. Iron Hans. I am the another princess. Yes, you know, so a lot of people are looking for the princess card, and the chase card really is the link for uh, the, the what is it called? I forgot what the hell it was called. The one Gumbler Dragon. There you go, Gumbler Dragon. Not a lot of people have those, um, so we're definitely looking for that. Cyber Dragon. Um, that card, Iron Cage. Oh, and a Monster Reborn, original print Monster Reborn. Isn't that cute? The, you know, like this is what I'm talking about with the fumble thing, like. Y'all reprinting cards that we already have, hollow or you know other alternate. Like think about it. What would you rather have? You'd rather have this one or the alternate art? Everybody's gonna choose the alternate art. There's no reason not to reprint this as an alternate art. And like solemn judgment, you don't really. I mean, I get to update the text, sure, but like you could have printed that in Dark Savers as a super or something like that. And come to think about, it, I think it did. It come as a super in Dark Savers? I think it did. Um, all right, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Slash Draw. Wow, this is going to be a little crazy. Pelmai is going to figure something out. A Torrential Tribute, that's actually pretty good. We might put that in our side deck. And the um, another uh, card of the, the Little Princess archetype. Um, don't know how much people are going to play with that. Um, and I, I guess uh, Wind Rose, Elemental Lord, Litmus Doom Ritual. World Legacy Discovery and a Gigantic Diagram. That is pretty cool. We've actually pulled uh, two good secrets. So the box was seventy. Um, he, he, he got twenty dollars back. For as of right now, he's got twenty dollars back. So we're not looking too great. Bottomless Trap Hole. Gaia uh, said this is actually a great reprint. Uh, they're very underrated. Um, Naruto. Um, that guy. And I don't know what Glass Slippers does. But we have pulled a glass slippers. Not the greatest secrets of all time. We've literally pulled only two cards we want. I guess Brilliant Fusion is pretty cool, but that's like three, four bucks. Um, that guy, we haven't pulled a Unizombie, but you know, that's my luck. Ear of Millions is actually a decent reprint. Uh, another Sky Star and Mithrillium. Wow, isn't that cute? Getting some Mithrilliums. That's that's like uh, getting a uh, Magical Citadel of Demion in Dark Saber. Like, once again, man, Konami with the just random reprints for absolutely no reason. Hummingbird, Iron Knight, Unending Nightmare, 
it's a it's a decent reprint but it came at the wrong time there we go we finally drawn the prize card of all time yeah ultra unizami thank god put that on over to the side and we are finally feeling good today man we have put an ultra unizami I, I, I feel good. Even though this isn't my box, I feel real fucking good we pulled a damn unit zombie. Finally. Another Altergeist card. Um, another Time Lord. I don't know what time. Which one is this one? They all are important, right? Um, oh, this one flicks 2,000 for no apparent just by battle. And it's 4,000 attack. Man, I, that, Jesus Christ. I love the burial goods for no reason. Iron Hans and uh, something with Time Lords, I believe, right? Yes, this does include Time Lord. They did not replant the Time Maiden, so <clears throat> definitely go pick, uh, like VTTRFS says, definitely go pick up nine and see uh, <laughs> pretty much and, and, and pick those up. Um, if anybody can explain to me why they reprinted this, I'll be okay. Uh, Noble Knight Madrot, Rainbow Dark Dragon, and Ooh, number 90, that's actually really good also because that is a pretty good pull. I possibly should have been separating, the, not even possibly, I definitely should have been separating the secrets, but we're 11 minutes in and we're not stopping now, folks. If you guys wanted a professional box opening, you came to the wrong guy. <laughs> uh, Windrose, Juggler, once again, great, re good reprints. The Dark Lords need to be punched. Solemn Strike. There we go. There's another pretty good card. So he's pulled pretty much like four or five ten dollar cards. So he's almost there. X Jail once again is a, a couple of ten dollar card. He probably has made his money back. Matter of fact, this this deck. I mean, if these price not these deck, but if this prices do hold up, this box is might be worth the seventy. I'm more in the fifty five dollar range because it's really not that much stuff you really want to get, or it's too much expensive. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, let's see the secret, and we have not pulled anything of great so far. But like I said, man, we pulled a couple of ten dollar cards as of right now. A couple of ten, I think Solomon Strike is like five or seven dollars, something like that. Um, as of right now, those are decent, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Limits, what does this even do? Ritual Summon is unaffected by traps, can be destroyed by battle. Gain 3,000 when a trap is on the field, and if this Ritual Summon is destroyed, you can target a trap and set it to your switch. I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess. This is not really going to help Vendrith out, so we're not even going to play it. Duos Alliance, another decent reprint. A little too late. Noble Knight, Madron, and another Monster Reborn that nobody wants. But I will be playing because it is hollow, and I have a comment as of right now. Um, so, yeah, once again, we're going to just sneak down on them. Down on them you know. But we got a couple of packs. What does this one do? All right. Um, damn, they all do just inflict damage. <laughs> I don't think that's pretty good. Like I said, man, pick up some time maidens. That might be a little crucial. Eater of millions and a gumbler dragon. Look at that. Now that's amazing. That's pretty fucking good to me. Um, this card right here, as of right now, sitting at a fine 20, but um, it can go up depending on how it does at our nationals. Uh, on basically uh, Saturday, the next day after you guys are seeing this. So if you do have them, I would suggest holding on. There's no really reason to get rid of them for 20 bucks. Um, but besides that, uh, this is actually a decent reprint because drivers are going around six or seven dollars. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty good reprint. And since we do play gamble, we're gonna put that Let this do original slash draw again and another infinite. Now the only thing that can make this box even remotely better is another Unizombie pool um, or the Phil's Pro, which a lot of people are looking for. So let's see if we can go ahead and finish strong. There's that guy again, Kaiju Waterfront. My brother does play that. Uh, so we're gonna put that to the side. Uh, World, he does play World Legacy, but I'm not sure if he'll go back. Uh, so guys, man, there's no reason to reprint it. You just printed this damn card. And the, what is this? <laughs> If you control a, no monsters, target a number XYZ, special summon, then draw a card. You can banish this card, target a number, attach one from you. I, I, I mean, y'all coming out with XYZ report, I mean, support, I don't know how long in that video. Um, all right, so let's go with the final pack. Can y'all give you luck? We need a Unizombie, all right? We need a Unizombie in this. Let's see what we can do. There's a driver that's actually pretty good. This is probably going to be about three to four bucks. 
um, after it settles, or wh where are we at? There we go. Um, let's see, Noble Knight Brothers. Oh, no, that's not what we wanted to see. Let's see. Oh, and then the nightmare. That's not good. It's just the Unizombie. Oh, it's the fucking Unizombie. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. And a Tornado Dragon. Decent reprint. All right. So we can't do a recap of the secrets because I just put everything to the side. So as you can see, we just literally have all these cards to the side. But like I said, this was a decent box. I mean, I guess by going off of a retail value, I mean, not, not, not retail value, but going off of, how, of what they're priced on TCG Player as of recording this video, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure he broke even with this box. Um, so yeah, man, I, th I, think, I think the set's actually worth about 55, 60. I don't think you should be playing 70. Some people are selling from 80. Um, and you know, I'm pretty sure somebody's selling them from higher, but I believe this set should fall around the 55, 60 dollar range for a box. And I believe then it would be a really good bar uh, bang for your buck because worst case scenario, you only probably lose about 20 bucks if you resell the cards. But and then there's always potential for any of these cards to just straight up shoot up because uh, somebody might discover something good with it. Anyway, that's with 16 minutes. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, we did. We did. We pulled out. The, we just pulled out the cards we were looking for. This, these are just the two we're.